Hello everybody, it's me Ali. In this video, we will continue our video series uh, of the two-dimensional airfoil problem. So this time we will do the post-processing and extract the data of the pressure coefficient on, on the airfoil. So let's go to the parafoil. So we have this um, result. Uh, go to the last time step. Okay. But we only need the pressure coefficient on this airfoil patch only. So how do we do that? We don't need this uh, phase and we don't need this far field patch anymore. So the first thing to do is to check this airfoil only and apply. So this is what we have. Now we do the filters here. Surface, extract surface, apply. And after that, we need to. We don't need the the two dimensional uh, surface here. We only need the lines of the airfoil. Yeah. So we can do the slice in the Z normal. I think. Okay. Show plane and apply. All right, so we have these lines of the airfoil, and we can do the. We put the calculators here. We name it pressure coefficient. But before we do that, we need to find out the definition of the pressure coefficient itself, right? So what is the definition of the pressure coefficient? Well, if you don't know, you can have a look to the Google or the internet so pressure coefficients okay go on the wikipedia so this is the pressure coefficient p minus p infinite divided by half row infinite v infinite square and p is the static pressure and p infinite is the static pressure in the free stream actually the the upper part is P minus P infinite is the relative pressure or pressure different on the fluid, and in this case, with the steady state for uh, steady state problem and the incompressible simple foam uh, solver, we the open foam the pressure here is actually the pressure different. It it is not the absolute pressure, so this is the pressure different. So it means our P is already pressure difference in the in this equation. So we can put the P here. This color, this is P. Remember this P is already the pressure difference on the fluids. It's not the absolute pressure. So the P is divided by half rho. So it is basically times two, right? Divided by half. And this time, in this problem, we use the density of the air as one kilogram per meter cube for simplicity. Or you can use this number. It depends on your problems. But now we use the simple one, one kilogram per meter cube. And the next is the V square. The V is the free stream velocity of the fluid, the velocity of the body through the field. So in this case, this velocity of the body will be 10 meter per second, right? Depend on this. So 10 meter per second square. So we have 100, right? And click on apply. So this is the pressure uh, coefficient we have. And we also need the coordinate of x over c. So how do we do that? We go to the next calculator and put on the x over c. x over c is basically the coordinate of the point, uh, which relative to the uh, 0, 0.0 uh, as this point for, for this point. So we put the 0, 0.0 here. But the problem is, if we take a look to the Salome, Me. 
so we can open the file we have created before okay we can go to the part uh, geometry module and do the, the translation here as you can see uh, we need to find the the dimension of the uh, object uh, we can go to the bounding box here as you can see the minimum x the maximum x so this point is not zero it is somewhere here so how so we need to do the transformation basically the translation transformation we just translate the point into the right here so we create or we apply the calculation here uh, coordinate x x coordinate but it's not x coordinate anymore but we need to add this number remember we use the positive sign here because we will move the coordinate x to the positive uh, with this distance okay divided by c c itself is basically the total length of the airfoil on the x-axis here so as you can see we need to find out the total length between this and this so how do we do that open the calculator okay calculator so this number oops copy paste minus this number paste okay we, we have this so apply this number into the para form 0 0.6102 Six eight. Okay, we, we we need the magnitude only, so ignore the negative sign. Zero point six one zero two six eight. Okay, and click on apply. As you can see, we have x over c equal to one and zero here. So we have a we have a correct value of the x over c because the maximum point of the maximum result of the x over c must be 1 because this is the relative coordinate okay so that's how we do the calculation but how do we get the data well we can split the, we can export the the data here from the para view into the csv file for example so let's do the spreadsheet view here here we have this pressure coefficient and we also have the x over c right so just click on this export spreadsheet the the this icon click on this and name the data so for example the air sorry the cp data okay save and you can open the data by using in this case i use the microsoft excel you can use a different software it's, it's up to you so we have this and we want to plot the pressure coefficient the cp as a function of x over c so the first thing is to copy this to different uh, position here yeah. and click on this and insert scatters here so it's already giving you the result and we need to see we need to make it a bit um well you can do a lot of enhancement with the graph actually 
but this is the basic result of the pressure coefficient on the airfoil remember this is the zero gradient of the angle of attack so if we use a different uh, angle of attack the pressure or the co pressure coefficient profile here will be different so i think that's all for this um, video tutorial series and i hope you enjoy the video and if you have any question or suggestion please come on, please put your comment below and see you in the next time bye